As you saw earlier, an extraordinary Sandfield Tribunal hearing is underway at Adelaide Oval to decide who will meet Norwood in next Sunday's grand final. Live now to Will Crouch, who's at Woodville Oval. And Crouchy, the Eagles have had their recovery tonight as if they're playing in the big dance this weekend. Yeah, it is an astonishing situation, Treaders. Just 24 hours ago, the Eagles were defeated in a prelim final. Yet today, their season still remains alive. Now, they'll argue their case tonight along with the Roosters. The league says tonight's tribunal decision will be final and not open to legal action from either side. Now, today should have been Mad Monday for the Eagles, but there's not much doubt that for the Sandful, it's been a Monday that quickly turned manic. Three's a crowd when it comes to a grand final parade, yet incredibly the Eagles and North Adelaide are tonight both preparing to play Norwood in Sunday's Sandful grand final. This recovery is normal, just keep it how it is and yeah, it's all out of our control so whatever happens, happens. North Adelaide won the preliminary final by five points, but only after scoring one goal two in the first five minutes of the final term with an extra man on the ground. Mm. But there was a small period of time where it looks like we had an extra player on the oval. Obviously, it wasn't on purpose. North might have played much longer with an extra man had it not been for ABC Radio boundary rider Michael Maney. After being told at three-quarter time by the interchange steward that the Roosters' Tropiano was out of the game injured. Tropiano is running through the centre circle of the, uh, of the ground, so I'm putting two and two together and coming up with 19. The steward acting quickly to avoid further embarrassment. So the official has made a call and gone to North Adelaide first and has avoided the head count, I would say, because the Eagles would have uh, got a message out to the skipper pretty quick. The Eagles oblivious to North's numerical supremacy. And they had no idea what was transpiring, but then as soon as Jared Allman came off the ground and they saw that, I think that's when the alarm bell started to ring for them. Didn't allow us time to get out to the, our, um, our captain. They couldn't call for a head count because the player had come off by then. A 19th man is not without precedent in the Sandful. It last happened in 1975 when Fred Bills was West Torrens 19th man in a match they ultimately won against West Adelaide. A count was called but the Eagles score was allowed to stand. And incredibly it also happened yesterday in the Neeful Grand Final. The offending team Southport got away with it as well. Will Crouch, Nine News.